All right, welcome back to Pokemon 5 Pack Attack. Here we go. We got the new Lost Origin set. This is actually the last set in the uh, Sword and Shield era. And so let's just see what we get. I haven't heard too many good things about this set. I've actually seen a lot of stuff about how bad the pull rates have been. So I'm kind of hoping that the, um, the like single cards end up being a little bit better for us. Because the single cards are supposed to be kind of randomized, but we'll just see how that goes. Now, that's a cool little Pikachu. This is our reverse. And then we already got a non hollow to start us off. So, first pack, not too well. See if we can do better on the second one, hopefully. There goes the code card. Got a nice little phalanx. Oh, wait, I forgot. Hang on. Almost forgot to do the little card trick. Doesn't really matter, but, you know, just kind of helps things go a bit nicer. non hollow still. Okay. Not looking too good. There goes the code card. Get our four from the back. It'd be sick if I could pull. There's like a Garantina card, or Garantina. Uh, don't really remember the exact Woo. okay i think we have another one behind it okay that looks sick i've never seen that card i've never even seen it like in the um like part of the set stuff i don't remember it so i think i guess that's like a character rare but then we also got a hollow so i will take that a soya and gudra kind of just looks like a normal gudra to me but that's a sick looking card. Nice. All right. I think that makes it worth it. This whole whole video has been made. That's all we need. Yeah, there's like a there's this really cool alternate full art Garatina that just looks really cool. And it's kind of like the whole the like big chase card for the set. So that would be really cool if we could get that. But that other card we got, the Cinta Scorch, was pretty nice. That's a cool looking Phalanx card. I was going to say that earlier, but my mind just kind of like blanked. I remember when I caught Phalanx and uh, Pokemon Go, I was really confused by him. Because I thought it was just like, when I first saw him pop up on the map, I thought it was like a bunch of Pokemon just like lined up perfectly and I didn't realize it was all one Pokemon. This is a sick Gengar card though. Oh, his eyes are glowing. Kind of. Like the hollow. I don't know if you can see that. That's cool. Nice little attention to detail. And these, um, I think, because I remember I saw someone like asking about this on like Reddit. I think that has to do the like kind of smoke around them. The like art. I think that has to do with the actual like Pokemon trading card game. Like if you play it competitively, it's something to do with that, I believe. It doesn't have anything to do with like the rarity or anything like that. But it does, it looks nice. Adds a nice little touch to the card. Goes a code card. All right, on to the last pack. Can we get something good to finish it off? The last, the first two packs didn't do good at all. The last two packs, though, were really interesting. So can this last pack? Nope, they cannot. It's a neat looking artwork, though. I like the artworks like that. They kind of look like old timey. It kind of looks like an old like oil painting from like way, way, way back when. All right, so that's going to do it for this Pokemon 5 pack attack. These were the two big hits we got, kind of. I don't think the Gengar cards, like the character cards, are like that rare or anything. They're really cool, though. Kind of a unique card. Uh, this Center Scorch, Center Scorch, V Max is really that's a really nice looking card. I like how like the sky in the background it really makes the like the red on the Center Scorch pop.